everyone and welcome to my channel. Today's class is a 12 minute slow flow stretch and strengthen class which you can practice any time of the day to get your body moving. We begin right away by coming into downward facing dog so curl your toes under and press your hips high. Spread the fingers wide so that you can see the color of your mat like pie slices between each finger. First, just keep the knees bent deeply and press your chest towards your thighs. Let the head be heavy and really send your sitting bones to where the back wall meets the ceiling. All muscles are engaged and active. Take a deep breath in. Exhale through the nose or the mouth. Once again, Fullest and deepest breath in, hug your abs up and in towards your spine. And exhale, if you're ready, you can start to slowly straighten your legs. Pedaling from one leg to the other, enjoying the stretch in the hamstrings. Now let's add in a side stretch into your dog pose, so lift your heels up and come on your tippy toes, turning both heels to the right, gently bending into your right knee, the left one is straight. Press into your left hip and down through each knuckle of your hand. You can look up underneath your left shoulder and just enjoy the stretch in your side body. And right away switch to the second side, both heels up again, placing them to the left this time. Bend your left knee, gauge your belly, spiral your body open to the right. And release, turn both feet back to center. Other side again, one more time on each side. Coming back to dog and pausing here for a moment. Inhale for three. And exhale for three. Inhale, reach your right leg to the sky, bend the knee, stack the hips. And then exhale, send the right foot between the hands, coming into pyramid pose. Most of us need some extra elevation here to keep length in the spine, so grab both blocks and then straighten the right leg and bring your back toes in a little bit. Hug your thighs in towards the midline of the body and firm your hips towards one another. On the inhale, lift and flat back, chest is broad. Exhale, use your abs to fold deeper over the leg. Two more times like this. Inhale, lift. And exhale, fold. One more time. Good, let's move the block, blocks to the side and come into a low lunge, so re-bend into your right knee. You may need to adjust the left leg a little bit, take it back, and your knee comes to the floor. Both of your hands come to the inside of your right foot. Maybe you need to heel toe your right foot to the right of the mat, so the heel is on the mat and the toes are on the floor. Let the hips drop to the floor, but the thighs are still active and pulling towards one another. Enjoy the quad stretch, or if you want to deepen the pose, you can come down onto your forearms, which takes the stretch more into your right hip. But only do this if you can maintain length in the spine, so no rounding. If you're really flexible, the next step would be to straighten the back leg, rocking forward and back on the toes. Only doing this if you can maintain a flat back. To come out, if you were on your forearms, place the hands on the shoulders and then step your right leg back into tabletop pose and right away.
we extend the right leg back, knee is bent so that the heel of your foot points straight to the ceiling, find your balance and then exhale and pull your knee to your chest, spine rounds. Inhale, stretch it back, firm your abs up and in towards the spine, breathe out, pull it in, cat back. Again, breathing in, reach and lengthen the spine. You can stay with this variation or progress by also reaching the left arm out on the in-breath. On the out-breath, drawing knee and elbow in towards the chest. A few more on your own now. Flow with your breath. This is a great strengthening exercise for your back, for the leg, the hamstrings and your core back to all fours, walk your palms out a few inches, pressing back into down dog, feet hip width distance apart. You can stay here or if you want to, you can flow through a vinyasa, plank, come down, knees to the floor and then cobra, baby cobra. Or you can just stay in your dog pose. We all meet back in dark. On your next inhale, reach your left leg up and back, bend your knee to open up the hip. Try to keep your ribs in, not splaying outward. One more cycle of breath. And on the exhale, step the left foot in between your palms for the second side of your pyramid pose. Again, you can use two blocks under each palm. Straighten the left leg and maybe step the back foot in a little bit so that they're one leg's distance apart up and down the mat. Hug your thighs in towards the midline of the body, breathing in flat back, chest is broad. Breathing out, use your abs to fold a bit deeper over the leg. Again, inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, encourage your spine to get longer as you fold over the leg. Inhale and exhale. On your own now. Good, now re-bend re into your left knee, put the blocks aside, letting the right knee come down to the mat, palms come to the inside of your left foot for a nice quad stretch, right on the front of your right hip and thigh. You can gently invite in a swaying motion from side to side if you like. Once again, you can also come down on your elbows to take it more into the area of your hip. Whatever variation suits you best today. And sometimes both sides are different. That's totally normal. No need to worry about that. Taking deep in and out breaths, expanding your ribs with new air. And coming out of the stretch, palms under the shoulders, step back into tabletop, coming to the strengthening exercise, extend the left leg out, bending the knee, breathe in, as you breathe out, pull the knee in, let the head drop to the chest, again inhaling, reach your foot towards the sky, exhaling, pulling it back in, look into yourself, a few more times on your own. Remember to keep your abs engaged the whole time. Option to add the right arm now, so inhale, extend and reach. Exhale, knee and chest touch at center. Three more times like this. Move mindfully.
And coming back to neutral, from all fours curl your toes under, press the hips high in downward dog. You can bend one leg and then the other. Stay here or flow through plank, chaturanga and up dog. We meet in dog, take a deep breath and send it wide into your low back. Now walk your hands towards your feet at the back of the mat, coming into a forward fold, Uttanasana. Clap, clasp opposite elbows, you can gently sway side to side. No big movements, keeping it small. And just hang like a rag doll, let gravity be your friend. To close this practice, we will come into a cross leg position, so transition to the floor mindfully, bend your knees to sit down, spine tall, draw your shoulders down and back, and just taking a few moments, noticing any shifts in your body and energy, since you started this short but powerful practice. Take your hands in prayer at the chest. Thank yourself for making it to your mat today. Thank your body for being so flexible. And I'm wishing you a beautiful rest of your day. You can bow your chin to your chest. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me. If you enjoyed this class, please remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video and share it with a friend. May your life be filled with joy and light. Namaste.